Oh, I, hello, everybody. Welcome to a patch analysis video. My name is Suns Fan. I'm staring into Brax's eyes. He's physically in the same house as me, if you can't tell. Hopefully the sound comes up okay. How's it going, buddy? Good, good. This isn't uh, some advanced webcam mechanics here? No, this, yeah, this is not CGI. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of a ghetto setup. I don't know how else to do this, but we tested the sound. It should be okay. Um, so, yeah, let's go over the patch. It's a pretty boring patch, I want to say. Yeah. So I think we can... We'll read it all, but we can, you know, kind of skip through it a bit. I'm more interested in the uh, the lion cosmetic. Have you seen it in game? I have not. Oh yeah, cool. I have actually. I saw it. In a, uh, it was in a pro game yesterday, actually. It's pretty good. If you alt click, it does that. Did you know that? No. Today you learn, friends. All right. So this, of course, is supposed to be a Thursday patch, but because there's a major, it was now released. I actually thought it was going to come out Monday. Yeah. I don't too. know what Valve is doing releasing stuff on Sunday. People. Nobody knows what's happening. People want to take the day off. I had things planned for today, like you coming over and not recording this. But, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Why not? All right. How do we get to it? I actually don't know how to get to <laughs> it. Oh, here it is. Gameplay update. Thank okay. you. All right. So it just talks about how. There'll be a couple more patches, and then after TI, they will stop doing the every two-week thing, which was kind of expected. Yeah. Bounty Rune Team Gold reduced from 40 plus 3 to 40 plus 2. Cool. cool. Self-explanatory. You get less gold for Bounty Runes. They're getting way too much to begin with. Was begin, it a lot? In my opinion. Yeah. It was a ridiculous amount. Was it like enough to turn the tide in? Like if you don't... Let's say you get 3 out of 4. Is that actually a, a large advantage, or it's just... Like, like a little icing on the cake kind of so thing. So at five minutes, it was 250 gold for your team for each bounty room. Really? 250 gold yep. each? No, not each. Oh, to total. for two of them. No, no, for each. Okay. Sorry, you confused me when you said each. Okay, yes. Um, There's four runes. Yes, one bounty room gives your entire team 250 gold spread amongst oh, five Oh, okay, people. yeah, yeah, okay. And then, of course, it goes up over time, and then the uh, you know 30-minute bounty rooms give a stupid amount of gold. It's like, yeah, it's a huge swing. So okay. Change that a bit. Uh, reduce the following move speed talents. We're not going to go through all these, but a lot of them have been reduced by five. Yeah. I did notice that uh, Axe is not on this. He has a 40 move speed talent that I love personally. Yes. yes. Although it's with three mana, so it's actually tough to choose sometimes. It is. Three mana is pretty good. Move speed feels so good on Axe. Yeah, it does. Um, any thoughts as to why this? I mean, there's just a big move speed creep in Dota. Right, you have Shadow Fiends running around at 480 move speed. Wisp is like, I mean, he doesn't have a move. Sorry, it doesn't have a move speed talent right, or right. anything. But you know, everyone just runs so fast. So trying to cut back on that, I guess. I think it's good. Okay. But it's not notable enough to really change anything. It feels like. Yeah, I mean, none of these really. What's the most drastic one? This is the 10 move speed. The 15 at for tech. Oh, gives a shit. He didn't even get that one, did he? <coughs> I'm pretty sure his other talent was better. Yeah, I. You know, I might know as well. Might as well open this up. Let's see if I can find my bookmark. Oops. All right, we're looking at techies. Can't believe I'm actually looking at fucking techies right now. <laughs> talents. Traction slacks influence. Am I blind? Where's the talents? I don't see it either. Talents. Okay, so that. 150 gold per minute or 60 move speed now. Okay. Whatever. All right. We're going to... That's pretty boring. Increased base this HP regen to 1.75 for agility heroes. Anti-Mage, Arc Warden, Clinks, Drow, Meepo, Pango, Phantom Assassin, TA, Troll, and Venge. These are all pretty shitty heroes. Yes. For the most part, they're not very good. And um, this is nice for Pango. Oh, yeah. When mm. I saw that, my eyes lit up. I got mm. real happy. That's nice. Just helps with bleeding. <clears throat> now... I'm looking at this. Is he the only offlane hero? Looks like it. Yes. That's kind of big, right? Oh, 1.75? Yeah. When you have, uh, well, mangoes are changed a little bit, but normal build, three mangoes, you'll have like two and a half, almost three health regen. Mm. It makes a big difference. All right. Melee barracks health increased <clears throat> by 200. Okay. Roshan attack damage upgrade over time increased from 2.5 a minute to four. All right. Blades of Attack cost increased from 420 to 430, so phase boosts are now 20 gold more. Uh-oh. You have that to is... think twice before you buy those things, man. But can we go... I don't want to go off on a tangent here. The side shop really bothers me. It sucks. It Like, you can't buy anything. It's so bad. Is that just me, or... like? No, it's terrible. You can buy blade mail and treads, right? Is that the only two items you can build in completion at the, at the side shop? 
That's a good question. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe Oblivion Staff? Nope. No? You, you can't, can't get the quarter staff? staff there. Okay. For Master Madness. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's complete trash. Uh, I missed that personally. Fixed bounty runes not being storable when the bottle is full. Didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, I have another tangent to go off of. Go for uh, it. So, as you guys know, Turbo Mode is in the game. I started playing Easy Mode in original Dota. That's, that was my yeah. segue into Dota. Same. That's pretty normal, right? I know people are going to really hate when I say this. I actually think that the courier system should be in normal Dota. Just think about how much nice i mean it doesn't need to be exactly the same they don't need to be instant explain i don't know what it is <clears throat> okay so everybody gets their own courier it cannot be killed it doesn't need to be exactly like this i'm just saying some okay. elements so everybody has their own courier it cannot be killed and it brings your items super fast that's really cool so i think at the very least like is killing cur killing couriers can be cool to watch sometimes very frustrating to play i just feel like right now it's there's five people trying to use the same fucking courier, <laughs> and it only creates confusion and annoyance. So I, I would like some elements from Turbo Mode to actually be put in the game, personally. There are probably so many games where everyone has played, where somebody uses the courier as the item is almost to you. Yes. Or they don't... And you don't even notice it. Exactly. Yeah. Or they don't tell you to reuse the courier, or they don't use the courier themselves to redirect it to you, right? Right. And then your item's just sitting in base. Yeah, that fixes a lot of problems for sure. <clears throat> Turbo mode, guys. You should play it. It's actually fun. The future. You should play it, actually. It's it's not... I played it once, and I picked a support hero. Yeah, that's the mistake you yeah, made. Um... You can't play, like, a third of the heroes, which is great for me because I hate a third <laughs> of the heroes anyway. All right, Enchanted Mango nerfed again. 0. 0.6 regen is now 0. 0.5. Yep. So with the three mangoes, you get 1.5 <clears throat> regen. That's still good. Yeah, still solid. Hannah Midas cooldown reduced by five seconds, whatever. Moon shard attack speed increased from 130 to 140. I wasn't even realize it was 130. Hyperstone is 55, right? Yeah. So that's pretty value in theory. Sure. But not many heroes are going to want. Like, this is a luxury item. Exactly. It's the ultra late seven slot item. Like, what's what's a hero that would get this not as a luxury? I, there's there's got to be somebody. Slark? Yeah, maybe. That's like the only hero I like, can think of. That there, has there's got to be a hero that you keep it in your inventory. You don't eat it. It doesn't exist. There has to like void maybe, no. There's a hero. I'm just not. No, that's, okay. All right, fuck this. I'm looking. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, there's some you could make the case for. Maybe Monkey King. Yeah, I looked at him. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, whatever. We will dream of that another day. Nullifier projectile speed decreased by 150. Okay. Whatevs. Uh, I mean, that's an item a lot of people are purchasing these days. Rod of Atos, recipe reduced by 100. That's kind of... Some of these just feel so random. Do yeah. people not build Rod of Atos? I mean, it's... I guess not really. It's probably has a pretty low percentage of uh, being in a game, honestly. In a pub and pro? Oh, yeah. Pro especially. Pubs, I feel like I pubs know. more often than pro. Yeah. Right? yeah. But even then, I I play a lot of pubs, and I can't remember the last time I've seen an Atos. Hmm. Yeah, it's typically on like a... A Jakiro type hero, right? It's not like a Pudge, like in pubs. Right. Pudge Atos in pubs? What a dream. Century Ward duration increased. This is the biggest change of the patch, I think. <laughs> it uh, might be, actually. Duration increased from four to six minutes. That aligns with, wait, uh, normal wards. What exactly. are they called? Observer wards. Thank you, observer wards. Well, you don't buy those, so you don't know. It's okay. Th that is actually a fair point. Why, why would they do that? They're super cheap. Now, like, yeah. Let's look at the arc of time, right? Sure. They used to be super expensive. You can only buy two at a time. Now you can buy it individually. They're super cheap, and they last just as long as observers. They also give you more gold when you kill an observer ward. You gain more money back. It's an investment. And century wards, you do not get any gold for. Right. So, and or experience. And just more power to sentries. You know, sometimes you place a sentry. There's no ward there, and the enemy team happens to place a ward where a sentry already was because it's a mm. common ward spot. Now it's gone. That's so, very interesting. Though. One thing to note. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this. Oh, of course, you have. your phone is phone. vibrating. Gotta, Could you please turn this garbage please off. turn that off? You're really distracting me from my great points I'm going to make. Um, what was I going to say? Sentry wards. <laughs> so I've seen a few times people place observer wards at the beginning of the game to block camps because it lasts two minutes longer. Oh, okay, okay. So sentry wards can now do that, and you don't have to worry about running out of them, and they're super that cheap. It feels like such a thing of the past. 
blocking camps? Yeah, yeah. You'd block like the the pole camp or something. Like people still do it, but it's just much less mm. common nowadays, I guess. But yeah, that's a good point, especially for like uh, ancients. That's good. Okay, that's true. Shadow amulet cost increased by a hundred. All right. Silver edge recipe cost reduced by a hundred. So technically, Lothar's shadow blade is more expensive. Ooh, 100 gold more expensive. But Silver Edge is the same price as before. That's value. That is value. Trying to get some more value out of Silver Edge, which has lost a lot since they got rid of the damage mitigation. Uh, Skull Basher recipe costs reduced by 150. Okay. And the item that nobody buys, Vlad's. Now the regen for mana from 0.65 to 1. Is that really enough? I don't think so, right? It feels like... It's a small make, step. Yeah, make the item 200 gold cheaper. Then maybe people would buy it. Would that be in? I mean, it's, I, I feel like know. this is super cheap, though. Like, how much are drums? Are drums more expensive? The drums are like 17, 25. Okay, they're less expensive. Yeah. This is like 2K, right? But yeah. the buildup is super easy. It is. But I don't know. When I look at this item and I think, how can I make this item better? I don't think more mana regen. That's it. That just. What if the mana regen like was part of. The or wait, is it part of the aura? Oh god, am I dumb? It, it is. is. Part of the aura. Okay, what if that what? <laughs> Fuck! <That's okay. laughs> I forgot that Ring of Basilius was uh, of, uh, an aura. That's okay. Uh, I don't know, Vlad's Should maybe we... more life steal. Nobody's bought this item for like the last couple of years, so nobody really knows what it does anymore. That's true. Yeah, more life steal. I guess that's the whole appeal of the item, right? What does it give? Gives you life steal. We can actually look. Wow. Great! I wouldn't have that's made that so mistake. Nice. Okay, so I don't know. It it this, doesn't feel as bad as it doesn't seem that bad. It right? doesn't seem that bad. But it is apparently because yeah, yeah. nobody buys it. Honestly, I when I buy this late game, it's it's for the the defense of mega creeps. And that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. Maybe a little bit of extra armor. I don't know. I mean this does seem value. You know, fifteen percent bonus attack damage to your entire team and life steal. Mm. When you buy it as like a, an ultra late support item or something, yeah, not bad. But is the problem that everybody's so rich now? That's not really for pro games. It's not, but for pubs, I feel like everybody, at least at my level, position fives are rich. They are. They want something bigger yeah. than this. You know, they want uh, some nice big fancy items. All right, on to the hero changes. A lot of these are just super minor tweaks. Yeah. Grievel's greed for Alk. So the bounty runes are worth a little bit less, but now his multiplier is increased by 0.5. Is that really, like, just whatever, it's right? It's whatever. The hero, do you think he's a support? Or I've only seen him as support lately because the concoction is ridiculously good. There's a, There are a couple people that play it on the American servers, and they play it as a, They play it anywhere. They play support, they play off lane, they play in safe lane. Really? Yeah, and it's just about getting to those levels where the concoction does a lot of damage. Hmm. Oh, so they go concoction regardless of position. Yeah, yeah. They uh, just go for like, uh, even if they're support, they'll go radiance into blink dagger. Hmm. Interesting. AM base attack rate improve from 1.45 to 1.4. Is this the lowest in the game now? Uh, it's at least tied. Like, I don't think there's anything better. So, so default is, is it 1.6 or 1.7? So it used to be 1.6 though, right? Back in the day? I think it's always been 7. And then there's really? 1.6, yeah. Oh, so it was alternating, and then okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one point four, guys. This is fucking ridiculously fast. Yes. Um, I'm gonna. I don't even remember him being changed to one point four five personally, but <laughs> this oh. hero's garbage, though. He's complete trash. Is he? Is this make? Does this make him better? It helps, but he needs more. I feel like that's not his issue, though, right? The tax right, right. The, uh, the thing about this hero is he's really good against these intelligence carries with gigantic mana pools, right? Heroes like Dark Seer, Lesh. Somewhat against Lena, she's got a big mana pool, but she kills anti mage, which is weird because she's a mage. But the um, when you play this hero, you're sitting there stalling, you know, with his battle fury, waiting to get to that third or fourth item. Mm. But then now, when you pick anti mage, you're stalling to still lose in the late game. So you're not stalling for anything. Well, why? What do you mean by that? He just gets out carried. He's just not a good carry. Yeah. Anymore. But what's changed to make him? I not would a say great people carry. more survivable in general. So when he comes in and blinks, he's not going to be able to kill whoever he gets gone on. There are items that are better at locking him down now. Hex is not dispellable by anything. Uh, Nullifier is a huge problem for heroes like Anti-Mage when you get owned like that. Okay. I don't know. I just It just doesn't feel strong anymore. Like I've seen him, too, and I even look <laughs> at some pro games, and I'm like, wow, Anti-Mage might be a decent hero here. But then just never plays out that way. Interesting. 
Arc Warden, base damage increased by two, and magnetic field mana cost reduced. More so at the earlier levels, basically the same at the, the uh, level four. Okay, that's cool because uh, people don't usually get this still early on because it costs so much mana. Mm. So I see. now they can actually afford to get a point in early. But so now this is a value level? Basically, but the hero is not value. He still has his problems where he... It's like Sniper, you know? He never wants to leave the base. The strongest position on the map for him is sitting inside his base defending his tier three towers. I, I think that's the problem with the design of the hero. Yes. Like, I've, I've been on record saying this is... Let me look at the hero list real quick. <laughs> trying to think if there's a hero I hate more than Arc Warden as far as design. You know, there's some cool things you can do with Arc Warden is. with a uh, meteor hammer. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Cool one. things? Yeah. Double meteor hammer? Yeah, he kills buildings. I mean, he... Necro meteor hammer? Okay, that sounds awful. I mean, not awful in a way that it's ineffective, but awful is in I don't want this in the game. Okay. I don't like this hero. I, I hate either. him in every aspect. I agree. He just, he's there to frustrate, he's almost like a techies. He's there to frustrate you. Uh, he's there to elongate the game. And at a certain point, if he gets, he's like a nature's prophet almost, where if you have like a couple racks, good luck defending that third one. Yep. There's no fucking way. Yep. But maybe he has his place. Bane and feeble duration reduced. So the value level is not nearly as effective at the earlier level. So. The later levels are basically the same. Early level, you lose six seconds on the duration of Enfeeble. It's wow. pretty huge. That is huge. Mostly for the laning stages, obviously. Yep. Uh, Bloodseeker talent, level 10 increase from 4 armor to 8. And 20 talent increase from 14% rupture damage to 18%. Okay. I want to look at his... Uh, that's, that's interesting. Did anybody ever get that, the rupture? I mean, nobody plays this hero to begin with, but... <laughs> I think people usually take the other talent that isn't the rupture damage. What is it? Twenty five percent life steal is the other one instead okay. of rupture damage. Uh, I don't have enough experience with this hero to know. I would assume that they take the life steal most most of the time, but I've seen the life steal more often than the rupture damage, but that definitely depends from game to game, right? If you're playing against like a Pangolier, for example, you probably won't rupture damage. Eighteen percent. What does that come out to then? It's move speed distance as damage. So it goes from sixty percent to seventy eight. I mean, rupture is a good ability, but yeah, we'll see if that changes the tide or not. Probably not. But I oh, always no. do this. I always do this. Disaster. I like the level ten talent change though. The eight armor. Yeah, that's a lot. What is his? The other one is attack speed. Most people would take the attack speed. But, but eight yeah. armor at level ten? That's yeah, that's, that's way too good. That's way too good. He I doesn't think. really build armor in his items too. So yeah. It helps with but that. he has an agility hero. That is true. But you can easily get attack speed, and people get S and Y on him, stuff like that. Yeah. Huh, interesting choice. Bristleback talents, level 25 talent increase from 20 warpath damage per stack to 30. Okay, so they're trying to make his worst talent a bit better. That's his worst talent? Well, worst What's between the other one? two, like his level 25 ones. I don't remember what his level 25 one is. It's a uh, spell life. Style. Oh, yeah. 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 It's hard to pass that one up, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, 15% doesn't sound like that much, but you're spamming so much. And when you hit multiple heroes, too, and if you have Radiance on top of that... It's and Octarine. There you go. Mm. Broodmother spawn spiderlings health increased by 30. Wow. Wow. All right, let's talk about this one. Centaur. Base damage increased by 4. Okay. Gives a shit. <laughs> Hoof stomp mana cost reduced from 130 to essentially be 130 at level 4, but the early levels, you save 15 mana. Are you serious? <laughs> This is the change you make to hoof stomp? The worst stun in the entire... Okay, name a worse stun on a hero's main skill than hoof stomp. Oh, no, I'm, I'm on board. Okay. It's hoof stomp. Because somebody tried to argue this with me, and then I put them on the spot, and they couldn't think of one. Because there's no worse stun <laughs> in the game, and we're not including, like, the panda brewling, even though I, that's a good stun. It's a single target. It's fine. This is the worst stun in the game. I agree. How would you make this hero better? Replace like hoof stomp. Damage? <laughs> uh, I mean, I know, I already know what Ice Frog would say to this. I, I want him to be able to use Hoof Stomp in the early game and not run out of mana. Like he needs eight mangoes in the game, essentially. Okay. Uh, maybe I, I don't know. I maybe Hoof Stomp's not the problem. I would make the cast time on Hoof Stomp faster. Point one second faster, so it matches axes. Oh, axes is faster than. Yep. <laughs> Like, Berserker's Call is, like, the, one of the best abilities in the game. and has a faster animation than the worst stun in the game. Okay. I mean, I'm always up for, like, cast animation increase or D 
decreases because uh, of my Hondas. So I'm I'm in for that. Okay. It just feels really, really bad. Like Hoofstomp is an ability. I don't want to upgrade it past one. Like it's a value level at one. What am I getting? I'm getting a slightly longer stun and a little bit more damage. Who gives a shit? I'd rather have return and and double edge. Well, then this is a, a buff to you. You save 15 mana. <sighs> God, I hate this so much. <laughs> what if all his abilities cost health? That would make him much better. <laughs> that would make him OP probably. But That'd be interesting. Very interesting. I just like essentially you're giving him a free hoof stomp in that case, right? But is hoof stomp really that good that it matters? Not really. Think about it. Ice frog. <laughs> you have my number. CK base intelligence increased by two. Okay. okay. We've been seeing a lot of like echo sabers on him because he's real mana issues. Yeah. So. Some good synergy too with the uh, crit, of course, but this feels so weird. Like either they can deal with illusions or they can't. Yeah. And he's super strong or he's useless. There's like no in between for this hero. He doesn't have a good catch up, right? Yep. Like he can't flash farm. Like what are you going to do? Take out a bunch of ancients with your ult and you don't have your ult. Right. Then you're yeah. at this huge deficit where you have two minutes of no ult. He's like a... He can't play from behind. He just Do people function. people buy Battle Fury in this guy at all? They used to. Used to as in when Arteezy was buying Battle Fury on everybody? Yeah, but not anymore. And 10 years ago in Dota 1. 10 years ago they bought him. I don't yeah. remember that. Huh. Interesting. Clink's intelligence increased from 16 plus 1.55 to 18 plus 1.7. Wow. And Strafe Dodge no longer has a count limit. That is... Okay, I was going to say huge. It's not huge because the hero's still shit, but Strafe is a lot better. Because before Strafe would... Would it actually get disabled after the count limit was hit? Or would it continue just no count? I got no idea. I've seen Nobody one Clinks in 400 games. <laughs> yeah. I assume that it kept going. Like, his attack speed would keep going, but he wouldn't dodge anymore. But That makes the most sense, probably. Like, this is... In so fact, I'm going to look this up. How did the dodge even Clinks. work to begin with? I, I really don't know. Have you ever seen the animation? No. It's so bad. He, like, mini teleports. No animation at all. No. Um... It's essentially you're just dodging hits, right? So, uh, how long does it last? I, I can't even find str strafe. Okay. The first skill. Strafe. <laughs> okay, it's so only three point five duration, so you're not going to get hit by attacks or single target abilities during that time. Oh. But the talent, if I'm not mistaken, there's a talent twenty five, but still no. four, four se seconds. Dude, that's seven and a half seconds. So if I get Omni Slash and I press Strafe, am I going to dodge all the hits? In th you want to test it out. Let's test it out. Sure. But would you... Okay, let's say that works. Okay. Would you get four strafe duration over searing arrow multi-shot? Oh, yeah. You would? You yeah. think that's a garbage skill to begin with? or? No, I think that it has its place for sure, but I think that uh, your own survivability is just better. Okay. The hero is just a single target monster, right? That's his whole spiel. So. Tells them. Great. Great hero. Juggernaut enemy. <laughs> Oh. Excellent cosmetic on the dragon. Thank you. Good. Thank you. That's the wrong one. <laughs> why, why is it Q? That really doesn't make sense to me. Alright, strafe duration, right? Okay. Perfect. Yes. Let's upgrade his. Give him a talent. Okay, so. No. That's just one hero, though. That, okay, he okay. sucks dick again. He can go in this, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. He's fine. Why does that not work? It's because it's an ultimate, maybe? Try it after you get Omni Slash. Oh, did I already respond? Okay. So, after I get Omni Slash. <laughs> well, that's alright. I need try. to just make sure this works. Yeah. Okay, right? okay, yeah. For a test run. All right, just look at the animation though. Look how bad it is. Unless they change it without my help. You ready? Will they change it? Okay. I'm so confused. Why is it like every other hit? No, no, the evasion's for talent. Oh, I've got a 20%. Is it dodging anything? Am I crazy? Jug, stop! I should not have taken this talent. I was not looking. Okay. It, he's, he's taking damage. 
I need to read this skill. <coughs> Grant projectiles. Oh, so it's. Oh. All right, let's. We're gonna take a lot of time to investigate this. Name a range here, Lena. Sure. Perfect. Fuck's sake, dude. Okay. I used to type fast back in the day. Okay. All right, so they did change the animation. You can see that little thing. He used to just appear next to himself. Okay. Like he would actually move locations. They changed it. Can you dodge? Uh, <coughs> yeah, you should be able to. Oh, whoa! That's not a projectile. All right, this is. Uh, I'm so. I don't know. Here, I'll I'll give you one. Okay. 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 I I don't, <laughs> I don't I don't understand. All right, we're moving on. I, this hero's shit. So Please I actually be desired. I do not understand that. God damn it again. I don't get it either. All right, clockwork power cards. <laughs> Mana increased to eighty, which is his old level four. <clears throat> okay, so small nerf because he's been. Very popular as a four position hero. Okay. CM base damage increased by two and arcane aura self mana regen increased by 0.3 at level one. So you have to remember that because she's an intelligence hero, she gets a lot more mana regen out of that. Right. So okay. she probably has a ridiculous amount of mana regen. I mean, she, so I know that they, they nerf and buff stuff in a kind of unique manner mm -hmm. versus other games. This doesn't fix any of her problems. <laughs> it just makes her more powerful in other ways, right? Well, isn't that the, the point, right? When a hero is strong... Well, she's not actually strong at anything, but... For, okay, <laughs> she's Invoker. strong at giving mana to her whole team. Nobody else can do that, yeah, I, I globally. So. Invoker, good in late game, right? This mm -hmm. early game has never been buffed, only nerfed. Okay. So when you get to that part in the late game, still the same hero. Right. But it's just more difficult to actually reach that. But the that difference point. is CM is not good at any stage of the that's game. That's the issue here, but that's a design flaw. <laughs> Not our problem. All right. I mean, she's still she's not the slowest hero in the game anymore. At least tree takes That's the yeah. takes the cake now. That's true. Dark will. Okay, this one did not make sense to me when I first read. Dark will of bedlam cooldown reduced to thirty, which is his old level three cooldown or uh yeah cooldown. Okay. And it lasts one second long. This is a buff in both directions for a hero that. I mean, I haven't really gotten to play against her that much, but mm -hmm. I know a lot of people think she's still ridiculously powerful, but she's not really picked. She's not competitively. Picked at all in competitive. What about in pubs? Still a fair amount. So basically, she becomes much better at farming and obviously doing damage. Yeah, yeah. 30 that, seconds? Uh, That's insane. Solo kill potential with that one more second on Bedlam. But yeah, 30 seconds, you can farm every creep up with it and still have it up for your next fight. Yeah. It's good. That Very is really good. good. All right. Dazzle strength gain increased from 2.15 to 2.3, and Poison Touch count rescaled to be lower at the early levels, but slightly higher at level four. Okay. And the cooldown reduced. A all decent those, amount. That's a pretty heavy reduction at level one. Yeah. Eight seconds. All those problems fixed just like that. Stronger in lane. Hmm. What more could you want? So you think this hero's good? No. Now, a lot of people look at Dazzle. I did when I was a noob. Now I'm professional, basically, now. Okay. Uh, and I think the counter to him is Axe. And anytime Axe is popular, this hero sucks. Obviously not the case. Right. But is it the case? <laughs> It's actually uh, better for Axe now than it used to be, because Spin used to be physical damage, right? And Dazzle mm. would weave you up, give you a ton of armor. Now it's pure. True. It's a bit better. DP base movement speed reduced by five. And I think she got the talent. The Was she one of the move speed ones as well? Uh, does she yeah. have a move speed? Yeah. She does have a move speed. Spirit Siphon mana cost increased to 70, which is the old level one. That's a pretty big nerf. Yeah, it is. And level 10 talent reduced from 50 damage to 40. Is that what people got with her? Yeah, that or magic resistance. Usually the damage. Uh, how do you know that one off the top of your head? Just curious. You don't play Death Prophet. I know you. When I was a mid player, I played a lot of this hero. But that was yeah, but that was before so talent. I, I just know. <laughs> so 40 damage or 12% magic resist. Very good. I mean, people take damage most of the time, right? That's why it was nerfed. Yep. Like 12% magic resist is not that great. No. I could have gone on a real tirade about Centaur's fucking magic resist. <laughs> was it 10%? Yeah. God, it's horrible. It's like 10% or it's evasion or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, it might be 15% and then 10% evasion. All right, we're going to look this up, guys. 
We need to know. I don't know why I'm looking up. I can just look it up here. What so easy. Round is this? Uh, is it? Ten percent yeah, magic, magic or ten, oh, it's because it used to be twelve percent. Yeah, it used to be at the. Like uh, oh, this is too good on this hero, <laughs> even though the hero is shit. Got to keep the hero in check. All right, disruptor thunder strike cooldown increased by three seconds at level one. Same at level four though. Okay, just small nerfs in the early game of this hero, which already sucked. Did it already suck? He was pretty bad in lane. Really? Yeah. I mean, Thunder Strike's pretty annoying. Uh, it's good against solo heroes, but any four position that can get on top of you just kills you over mm. and over. I see. Doom, this hero is very popular right now. Infernal yeah. Blade base damage reduced. This makes, in my opinion, no difference. You think so? 25 base damage instead of 40. That's 15. I mean, all your damage is percentage base. Who gives a shit what the base damage is? What does that do? So everyone plays Morphling against Doom because Infernal Blade at max level hits you for about 100 damage because you're morphed all the way down to uh, agility. Okay. So the percent damage doesn't do anything. So now that makes so, the morphling even better. So the you. one hero that's good in lane, mm -hmm. you're saying this makes a difference for. Yeah. What about the rest of the heroes? The other hundred and whatever. Well, he's still going to do what he does. He's going to hit them with Infernal Blade and Doom them. Do you think this makes a difference other than morphling? I don't know. This feels like it's nothing to me. So it's oh, it's four seconds. So you have four ticks of the, uh, the base damage plus the percentage health damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it's a step in the right direction, right? Maybe now all these heroes won't die as soon as Doom walks at her. I, it's probably not. I can't see what you're, where you're going with this. This looks like nothing to me. 15 damage? Seriously? That's 15. Times four. That's 60. What do you mean times four? You're saying, oh, you're saying Infernal Blade. I thought it was a, the base damage is applied on cast, and then it's just damage over time for the four seconds. You're nope. saying that the base damage is on top of the percentage base each tick. Yes. Oh. Okay, that's different. See, I didn't know that. Huh. That's weird. Okay. It's, it's more something. substantial than I thought. I mean, it's not huge, but... No, it's not huge at all. Scorched Earth movement speed reduced from 14% to 11, 12, 13, 14. Whatever. DK base movement speed reduced by 5, but Elder Dragon form bonus move speed increased by 5. Wow. Wow, we... Redistributing the power. Still waiting on Aghanim Scepter for him. Thanks. <laughs> Drow Ranger base damage increased by 4. Just stop me if any of these really... I mean, a lot of these no, are super these are minor. No, super minor. Earthshaker base armor increased by one. Enchantress base strength increased by one. Nature's attendance mana cost reduced to be 30 less at level one, but the same at level four. Okay, I mean, we don't see this hero at all. No. Pretty sure. Enigma, demonic conversion, Eidolon, bounty reduced by six. I mean, that... It helps, right? Those things yeah. do feed a lot of gold in a game, but six, it's whatever. Yeah. Gyro, call down missile one. Oh, call down missile one damage. Okay, the first missile. Yep. They make it sound like it's Air Force One or something. <laughs> uh, reduced by 50 at level one, same at level three. And a level 10 talent reduced from 25 damage to 20. Okay. I mean, kind of whatever, I guess. I mean, it's a pretty popular hero, so it's a slight nerf, I guess. Some small nerfs to a popular hero. Wait, what's the other Still talents? HP, 200. I usually go to the HP then instead of damage because he, he always has very low. I remember when it used to be separated. It made it so much better. They had damage and then HP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or it was vice versa or something. That was nice. Good old Aghanim Scepter on him. Huskar, life break increased by wow 2% damage at level 3. That's the breaking point right there, that 2%. I guess. Inner Vitality mana cost reduced. By 30 at level 1, same at level 4. And the base regen increased from 10 to 12. This feels like nothing. Okay, so it looks like nothing. Okay. Inner Vitality, right? Tell me. But Strength Hero buys a lot of items that give you health regen. Armlet. Okay. You know, stacks the health, all that kind of garbage. When he gets low, the healing kicks in from Inner Vitality. It adds up a lot. Mm. So all right. Fair enough. Health I mean, regen is dangerous. Have you seen this hero in a game? I lost it yesterday. I actually watched that. I was pretty upset. I... By the way, guys, I've been watching a lot of Brax on Twitch. This is my favorite streamer now, officially. I'm not just saying that. I don't watch any Dota streams anymore, like personal streams, that is, other than game or professional games. What's your Twitch? Plug it. This is where you plug your, your Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Braxton911. My plays are so bad, I have to call the ambulance afterwards. <laughs> Braxton911. Why yeah, is was, that your Twitch? I made it when I was like 12. You need they to, you know, ask me, so you I have it. All right, your Twitter is Brax likes Dota. You're, like everything is different. You need to come up with one singular name that shares amongst all. Like mine is probably mine's pretty shit. Sunsfan TV, right? But it's for all of them. Oh, but it's easy. 
You know, What's follow easy? me at Suns Fans TV. Yeah, easy. that's what I'm saying. I have to say, follow my Twitter at Brax Likes Dota and my Twitch at Braxton nine one one and my YouTube at whatever it is. I don't even. Well, know. you have a YouTube. I've got like two videos on there. Don't watch. Them. Oh, nice. Are they cat videos? No, I, I made say... a I made a guide. And my grandma walked in. She started speaking in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, excellent. All right, so Invoker, mana cost redu- or removed from Invoke. I thought this was already done. Am I crazy? Uh, that was the Ags. That's what it used to be. See, look, set their mana cost zero. That's cool. So what? Oh, it was reduced from 60 to 40 last time. That's what I was remembering. Okay. So, so now it's just free. Right Does that make Ags? L- I mean, Ags is still good, I guess. Yeah, the cooldown is too hard yeah. to pass up. IO. All right, this is the strongest here in the game right now, and I have a feeling... I know where this is gonna. This conversation is leading. Yep. Base movement speed reduced by ten. I'm just gonna give my thoughts, and then you can sure, elaborate because you've had a lot of experience with this. I've watched a lot of your games. Almost all of them that you lose are against IO. <laughs> Coincidence? I'm not sure. Uh, base movement speed. This makes no difference because he's tethered to somebody all the time and yes. he gets the movement speed. Level 15 talent reduced from 90 spirit damage to 75. Let's see what it used to be. Let's look. The alternative is tether grant scepter bonus. People get that most of the time, I would assume. Yep. Level 20 talent changed from attack, attacks tethered allies target to 20 health regen. Basically kind of flip-flops. And the mm-hmm. 25 talent is no longer 50 health regen, but attacks tether allies target. Did you see the Fanatic game with Envy? Oh, yeah. Where he backdoor the Backdoor the entire tier 4 towers and throne because of this ridiculous skill. It's now level 25. Thoughts? So when they shift the talents around... Look at the 25. Now you have to decide between the minus 60 relocate cooldown and attacks uh, tethered ally target. You know, that's a big deal. It used to be that you'd put these, uh, you'd put the eye with Gyro Cocker, for example. You would feed him a free Aghanim Scepter mm-hmm. with the talent, so Gyro would go like Sanja Nyasha or straight into a BKB, super valued. And then at 20, you would get that talent where you attack off the Gyro's extra attack and his normal attack and right. black cannon. And that's when it was just way over the top, right? So Hero's still super strong, um, just the power's a bit... It's redistributed, so it's uh, less ridiculous with these super big combos like the Medusa, even uh, Morphling when he has like Black Cannon or just when he has super fast attack speed. So it's a step in the right direction, but I think the hero is still way too Yeah, I, Based on the games that I saw from both Pro and your stream, these changes make literally zero difference because the problem wasn't like... Yeah, Envy doing that shit in the base was ridiculous. How often do you see that though? Right, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it games. less often now because it's 25. Mm-hmm. But the problem is the rest of the game he's super OP. Yes, and this changes nothing. Uh, My biggest complaint about this hero is if I'm playing a hero and I want to focus IO, I can't slow IO. I have to slow the target IO is tethered to. Yeah, that's true. Like if you're a Night Stalker or something. Yep, that's that's the hero I always play against IO, and I feel terrible. Yeah. Well, but you get its value. You slow the target, and then it slows IO as well. And then he tethers someone else and <laughs> just runs away. <laughs> Sorry, it. Yeah. So would you say IO is the strongest hero in the game right now? Yes. You already have, like, the concept is super strong, right? That you can yes. transport a hero somewhere globally across the map, and you also share regen, so laning is even better. Like, if you ever lane with an IO, you just feed IO mangoes all day long mm. instead of full mana, be spamming everything. So you have that on top of IO already being a strong hero on its own. Some right. people in pubs, they play mid-IO, and they destroy their lane with the spirit. So it does a lot of damage. And it's also weird here in the sense that it's made a little bit easier to play lately, I guess, yes. since those changes. But at the same time, like my level of play and people that are below, so I'm like 4.75K or something like that. Um, not that many IO games still. Because people just, it's not a fun hero to play for them. No, right? I, I agree. So at the lower level, you guys probably don't understand. Well, I shouldn't say you probably don't understand. If you watch pro games, you do, but reason we're talking about this here, I talked to Cinderin recently, and he said this is the most broken hero since Earth Spirit was released. Yes. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this changes nothing. But from a viewer standpoint, does it make games more enjoyable to watch, do you oh, think? Oh, yeah. It's a really flashy hero where you can do a ton of cool things, relocate. Like, It's the only hero in the game that would have made that backdoor play from, sorry. Yeah, Black backdoor play yeah, was Yeah, backdoor insane. play, uh, you know, even possible from Fnatic, so... It's cool. You're a watch. I like it. You like it. I, I like it. I just don't like playing against it. It's I mean, fun. that's the thing, though. In in pro games, we're not going to see this hero for another month. It's going to be banned first yeah, every single time. I agree. I'd be super surprised. To see but it. pub games, yeah. it's a 50-50. Yep. So, Kanka talent, twenty or level 25 talent, 50% tiebringer cleave is now removed 
to be minus 1.5 second tiebringer cooldown. Thank God. What a stupid mechanic. We're all. I don't know. I don't know if you like this. Hold on. It's four seconds becomes 2.5. Yeah. Okay. I think the whole problem with this hero is that he's kind of a gimmick, to be honest, right? Yes, he is. Late game, you press Shadow Blade, X yourself, run in. You hope you get that big crit and wipe their team. If you don't, you lose the fight. Yeah. You get it, you win the game. He's a one-hit wonder. Yeah, it just it doesn't make any sense. It feels like that kind of mechanic has no place in the game. But now it's Tidebringer cooled. I mean, it's you still can still better. have the same kind of effect, but yeah. you just do it more often. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't like it. This hero... So like as a uh, carry is pretty pretty weird. Math, right? Thousand crit, pretty reasonable for Kunkka with the Daedalus Shadow Blade phase boots, right? Yeah. Especially when you have like forty damage and twenty five strength talent, mm -hmm. pretty reasonable. Then you add in the talent, five hundred extra damage. Yep. AOE to everyone. It's it's a lot. Pretty filthy. All right, Leshrac base int reduced by two, but his base damage is unchanged. Lightning Storm cast range reduced by one fifty at the early levels, but ends up being the same at level four. Okay. People yeah. using this a lot? Oh, yeah. Support Lesh. Do they, what do they skip, then? They skip Diabolic Edict, then? They get two points in stun. Max Lightning, get ult, and then at eight, they start getting eaten. So two levels of stun only. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Hero's still good. Um, definitely much less strong as a soul laner. I think S4 is pretty much the only player that still plays this hero. Right here. So, uh, what makes level... Well, why level two? It just lines up with the pace of the game. It's nothing about the ability. It's just like that's kind of when hmm. lane stages break down and you want to... That's when you stop using it as often? Yeah. I see. Huh. You know, be a great talent for this hero. Give him some good cast animation. <laughs> Probably the worst in the entire game. Yeah, that'd be such a gigantic buff for the hero, actually. Is it Leshrac or Jakira that has the worst? I think Jakira. Jakira just feels like... Jakira's got he's, a shit turn rate, too. It feels like he's sticky napalm by default. Yeah, right? that's a good way to describe it. Uh, chain Frost for Lich, damage increased by 20, okay. but 20 at level 1, 40 at level 3, and the Scepter has been increased as a result by 50 at level 3. All so, right. I mean, sure, why not? It adds up, I guess. Uh, this hero gets a lot of levels. I know he's not very popular, but he gets 6 very early in yeah. the games. Lycan int gain reduced by, I'm not even going to, oh, 0.15. Is that correct, Matt? First they took away his armor. Now he's got no intelligence, too. Poor guy. What's next? He just runs around and shapeshift all day. Critical Strike for shapeshift has been reduced as well. Uh, same at level 3, but 10% less at okay. 1. This hero's good. Super good. Like, he has a certain role where he's a, a survivor in lane with health, uh, health regen. Mm. Once he gets wolves, he can jungle and avoid these difficult lane matchups. And uh, Helm the Dominator runs around, takes towers. Still a good hero. All right, Magnus and Power, cleave distance increased to match Battle Fury. That's, looks, that's a big number increase. It is, but I don't know what it means. Uh, well, let's empower cleave and end radius increased by 90. So the way the Battle Fury was changed, it used to be like a cone. Does this come up on stream? It used to be like a vagina. Okay. Now it's an actual circle AOE around the hero. Does that make sense? Okay. Is it a semicircle or a circle? It doesn't hit behind you, so it's a semicircle. Okay. So it's like a, an arc instead of a vagina. All okay. Right. And the cleave distance for empower, it just means the range in which the semicircle is just farther out. It's just farther. Right? That's the I, distance. I guess so, yeah. That's what it sounds like. And the end radius increase. I don't know what that one means, but it's bigger. Cool. That's bigger is better. In most cases, yes. Except for vaginas. <laughs> Meepo, Earthbind's projectile speed increased. What a random number. Yeah, I was going to say 857? That. that was really random. And Earthbind now fully affects invisible units. Did it not used to? I don't remember. Before, if you used it and then they went invis, you'd be able to see them. And it would miss them if they were entirely invis. So now you can net them when they're completely invis. Like wait, wait, wait. Say that first part again. If you net them before they go invisible, you can still see them? Right. If, like, TA, for example. If you yeah. net TA, then she presses meld, you can still see her. Okay. That's how it was before. And then now, if she's melted on the ground, you net her, then it probably reveals her and you can attack her. So it, you're saying it reveals her now? Right. As opposed to keeping her revealed, you know what sure. I mean? Sure, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. Hm. Got a way with words. Yes, something like that. Marana leap attack speed increased by 20 at level 1, 20 at all levels, in fact. Okay. Of course, that attack speed is just for her, no longer AoE. Moonlight Shadow 
duration increased from 15 to 18. I right, this one. What the <laughs> fuck is... How? How does that happen? Valve, if you're watching, I know you love watching these videos. <laughs> you, you get all your, your insight from us, but please fix that. Th I just click on the thing and it just scrolls. So Moonlight Shadow now lasts for 18 seconds. Let's do the math. And with the 25 talent, it's minus 80 on cooldown. So that's 20 seconds of downtime technically, but it lasts for eight. It's two seconds downtime. That's pretty cool. What's the other 25 talent? I actually don't know. It's the three, oh, two arrows. Right. I mean, it, I don't know what your experience is. At first, I thought uh, the Moonlight Shadow would not be a constant thing. Uh -huh. I've seen everybody take it, but the arrows really? is so nice. You know, when I first saw the arrow talent, I thought, this I sounds really stupid. Yeah. Nice. But it hits people all the time. You can't avoid it in fights. It always clips someone. Yeah, in, in, in close range fights, it's great. For going high ground, it's good for vision. Yeah. Um, what did his old one used to be? Uh, leap attack speed. That used to be 25, and they made it 20 or whatever. Yeah, okay. Monkey King, Wukong's command armor increased by four at level one, four at all levels, in fact. Okay. It's all right. Sure. I, I like this hero. It's fun. This hero's good in lanes. Real good. Morphling Morph now only dispels on initial cast rather than all toggles. I, I know I'm going to sound like a big noob today, guys. <laughs> it's because things have changed so much. I did not know it dispelled at all. This is his ult, not the... Right. So you you cast on somebody. Yes. And it dispels you. Yes. And you could shift back and forth between them and yourself, and it would dispel each time you did it. Okay, I think I remember that it dispelled on the first cast, but you're saying each time you go back and forth, it that that's so stupid. Naga presses and stare on you, you morph back. <laughs> you get a toast, you morph back. <laughs> <laughs> you get slowed, you morph back. You and get spirit vessel, you morph back. That's the big one. Really? Yes. Damn. And what is there a cooldown between toggling back and forth? You just one second. There's a one. Okay, well that's gone now. So that's thank God. Now people can actually kill this hero. Yeah. This okay. hero's been ridiculous. Interesting. Do you think that that's a big enough? I mean, this hero's been. I feel like anytime I see a gyrocopter, there's a morphling in the game. Every time. Every right? single time. I think this helps a lot. Yeah, that sounds like it does. Necro attack point improved from 0.53 to 0.4. What does that mean, attack point? That's like the swing when you wind up your attack. But isn't there an attack swing? That's what they call it. There's a back swing. The back swing. That's not the back swing. No, no. This is like, you know how he, like, he pulls out the, the green little blob and he goes, yeah. that's, that's faster. That's not the back. How's that not the back swing? The back swing is if you sit there and click the hero, he does nothing for a period of time. Like if you shift oh, like the cube, it's, something else. It's the time between he, him standing there and going to the attack point. Is that what you're saying? So it's like a super outdated mechanic that like never it, applies to it, anything. Very anymore. confusing. Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to think of a hero with a ridiculous backswing, but like Jakiro, okay. right? No. no. Okay, Lena. When you ult someone, if I press ult and uh -huh. then I shift cube my attack on somebody afterwards, see this oh. never applies because you have to do very specific things. Yeah. Okay. If you don't actually issue another command to cancel the backswing, right? You'll sit there for about a second. Yeah. dancing or whatever yeah, that does that sounds right yeah okay that's what it is interesting but this is the attack point that's right <laughs> that's the wind up he does have a quite a big wind up he does uh base damage also increased by two and death pulse mana regen stack has been slightly buffed you know ever since they uh buffed regen i haven't seen this hero i'm curious to see how all the uh the mass healing and regen and stuff works with all that because when you buy a bottle it says it heals you for 50 health mm. and uh, 20 mana at level 6 on a strength throw. It heals you for about about uh, 180 instead of the uh, 150. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. They changed his... They changed something else with him. It was his ags, I think? I know, his ult, oh. his ult lasts... You stay in fountain longer or something. Yeah, yeah. It keeps you out of the game longer. That's right. I forgot about that. It's because this hero has not been played at all. <sighs> yeah. He's a one-hit... Kind of feels like a one-hit wonder as well. If you get that big ult at the end of the game, it's they can still have buyback though. So I don't know. Night Stalker Void no longer applies mini sun during the day. Huge nerf. Yes. Huge nerf or sizable nerf or that medium nerf. Sizable. Sizable. The next one is huge. Darkness no longer sets enemy vision to a fixed amount, and darkness now reduces enemy unit and ward vision by twenty five percent, and does not affect buildings anymore. Yes, that's huge. There are uh, vision spells like Undying Tombstone. 
mm -hmm. gives you complete night vision, for example. Gives you night stalker vision, basically. Okay. Uh, Necro 3 does the same thing. Like an ultimate, same thing. Sniper has night vision. There are some heroes that have good night vision, like Slark, for example. Yep. Before you'd use darkness against these heroes, whoops, and they would go down to like a 625 vision range or whatever it is. Now, it's not so bad. Interesting. Thank God. Hmm. All right. This has been like not quite on the same level, but a step down from IO. It's the next right? tier. It's the next tier. Sure. IO's very in a highly, class of his own. Yeah, very highly contested. Ogre Magi, multicast has been improved at Ooh. all levels as far as the percent chance. This guy's back. Does this... Okay. In, <laughs> that's sarcasm. I mean, this has to help, though. I mean, he's... Yeah. From a noob's perspective, that, sound, that looks great. It looks cool, right? But too bad the hero's all about bloodlust and your carry. And yeah, true. Waiting for it to come off cooldown again. Remember when he first... The bloodlust was improved? You told me that you saw a carry... Uh, yeah, a carry I ogre. I had one in my game. And then never again? No. After that, he's, he's <laughs> it was all trolling. But it worked. Yeah. That's crazy. His talents are pretty good, though, if you want to play a carry ogre. Level 10 talent increased from 60 gold per minute to 90. Yeah. Which one is that? So that or 300 HP. No, uh, no, no. That's, that's level 10. Wait, what did I say? Oh, sorry. That's 90 damage or 300. Yeah, over so, the cast range. I mean, the cast range. Oh, that's, that's, that's a lot of gold. You got to go for gold. Oh, yeah. You got to go for gold. You can always get an Aether Lens. Yeah. Aether Lens. Whatever it's called. Lens. Um, what? I, I just say lens to avoid lens confusion. Yeah, that's true. Eon disc, Eon disc, disc, disc. Yeah. <laughs> Pango, my boy, talents level fifteen talent change from thirty attack speed, which was useless. This looks exciting to two second rolling thunder duration. It's either that or don't tell me. Is it the two second cooldown during your ult of yep, shield, crash. shield crash? That's so good. I don't. It's hard to pass up. I don't. I. Th I think this one's definitely worse still. Yes. But it's better than like. What the fuck? Who needs a tax exactly. speed on here? It made no sense with the hero, right? Level it's twenty like talent. Least desired stat. Yeah, for sure. Level twenty talent improved from thirty swashbuckle damage to forty. That's that or the strength, right? Yep, twenty strength. I think I'd probably still take the strength most times. Same. And twenty five talent improved from minus sixteen second rolling thunder to minus thirty five. Is that five Thank second God. cooldown? No, no. It's still a. Uh, Aha! Let's see. Thirty five second. Why can't I? It's 70. That's a 70 second cooldown. Wow. Yeah, okay. it's been nerfed a lot. So 35 seconds or minus three seconds swash. I usually go for the swash buckle personally. It's hard to pass up, isn't it? It becomes you what? Three around. seconds? Four seconds. Four? Wait, what? Five, right? Eight second cooldown? Minus three? Eight seconds? No, yeah, three. Five. Sure. NA maths. It's not easy. So does this change anything? I think you, people might go for the rolling thunder. It's cool. In uh, pro play. Pangos go for the tank build. They mm -hmm. don't go for the javelins. The javelins are cool when you can get it quickly and you can, you know, kill everyone with it. It's oh, you're talking cool. about the 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah talking okay. about the 25 talent. What about this one? Would anybody go for the two second rolling? I don't think so because shield crash. You can cast it. So, so I will. I, I'm not. I would probably not pick it. Yeah. But one issue that I have, and I'm a noob, obviously, but sure. shield crashing that often sometimes throws me off, it's and hard. I can't. I can't actually hit the hero. Yeah, to stun them point. again. You know. So the, the best use I've seen for that is like uh, you start with a shield crash, of course, and then when you're about to end, you shield crash again so that once you transform back to your normal hero, mm. it's going to come up again right away. Yeah. That's like the only big use that I've seen for it. But you're right. It's and so you can, hard you can, do, you can do it with the swashbuckle at the last moment, right? Yes. Uh, to – what was the trick? There was some trick that people did uh, when it first came out. It's too hard to do for me, though. But anyway, eight seconds to ten seconds. I think they end up adding like two more seconds to that eventually. Yeah. For that talent, and then you really have to think about it. I agree. Because you're right. It is the the shield crash talent is not the easiest to use. It does mess you up a lot of the time. Like for pros, there's no way they go for this. They don't need two seconds. They need the yeah the shield crash cooldown. PA blur now only triggers on real heroes, and blur now always triggers on visible and spell immune enemies. Okay, it's the first time I read this. Mm -hmm. I was like, that sounds super OP. That does that mean that the evasion does not it, it works exclusively on spell immune and like I read this in completely wrong. It's just talking about the fact that he's invisible on the map, right? Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. so. You get a little passive above your hero that says, you know, blur or whatever and it lets you know someone's near. That's yeah. it. So if Ricky's next to you now you know. Now you know. PA doppelganger can no longer be cast while rooted. I didn't know you could do that. I just, I, I rooted. Feel, I feel how like how could you cast that during root? I, I feel like you can't use this already while you've been rooted. 
I feel I've seen so many way. peels get stuck in pit of malice and just not used all the time. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe this this can't be wrong, right? Probably not. Okay. Well, either way, that's Probably good. Not. That is good. Great job. Phoenix Fire Spirit's damage increased by 10 at all levels. Okay. Excellent. He has a talent for that as well, right? So Yeah, 15, but it's between that and like 150 GPM, so it's it's rough. Oh, no, it's between 500 health. Wow. Okay, 500 health. That's a lot of health. Hmm. I don't know. It's a pretty cool hero. I wish he wasn't strength, though. Kind of ma- puts, gives a bad name to strength heroes, personally. But just not tanky enough. You know? yeah. Speaking of which, though, Pudge Meat Hook cooldown increased at the earlier levels. Uh, but Meat Hook damage increased by a lot at yeah. level 1. That looks pretty good. 60 pure damage extra. I mean, this here has been getting nerf after nerf after... Mm-hmm. Like, Rot is so garbage now. Yes. People can run away from you in Rot. Like, you used to be able to Rot and auto-attack them and still be in range to, like, slow them with Rot so you could just beat them yeah. forever. Now you have to walk with them the entire way or they just escape. Yeah, but this is nice. That's very good. I like it. Yeah. Pugna Nether Ward damage per mana increased by 0.25 at all levels. Okay. Small buff. Queen of Pain, level 25 talent, improved from 20-second spell block to 15. Good. I mean, screen, the fear, though, is... Yeah, it's hard to pass down, right? A lot of the times in the late game, people have Lincolns, they have DKB, but if you blink in, scream, then you can land your abilities before they press these yeah. things. It's fantastic. Now, what is Lincoln? Is it 18-second cooldown? I don't actually know what it is anymore. Let's it's see. been changed so many times. Items. Lincolns. 13. Okay, I was way off. So it's a slightly worse Lincolns. Okay. But... If you already have a Lincoln's, it's a double Lincoln's. Well, yeah, then you can't get targeted by a lot of these. I mean, I, w- I would think that ah, it's still hard to pass up the fear, but if you're playing against a Doom, maybe. Oh, yeah. That could be super value to have double Lincoln's. It's really good against these uh, BKB lockdown heroes. Mm. Doom, for example, Beastmaster, another one. Yeah. Helps a lot. But then you have fear. Yeah. I don't know. It's... Ricky, oh. base HP regen increased. He needed this badly. Oh. His laning is so bad. Three HP regen now. Blink Strike can now be cast on spell immune enemies. Didn't even know you couldn't, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I play him all the time. Tricks of Trade cooldown increased by 10 okay. at all levels. And Cloak and Dagger Fade delay increased by 1.5 at level 1. Don't people usually max that skill first anyways? I found that out recently. Yeah, I saw a game I've, you play and you had max Blink Strike. I uh, buried my hands, or my face in my hands. I, I just... I like the mobility. It's nice to yeah, have that's that. That's fine. That's the beauty of this game. You can level up what you want. Maybe some people not are anymore. Smoke cloud. Not not anymore. Like I look at this and like you can't not. This makes you want to level this more. Yeah. But people, that's what I don't get, right? Mm-hmm. People are already leveling this first. Now you're making. Not, you didn't change anything. They still will level it first. You make it even more of a case for it. Well, now there can't uh, be people like me that try to innovate the game with blink strike. You're basically being told how to play the game. It's being tailored for you. You can't make your own decisions. Dota Plus, man. Oof. So, so do you go 1-1-3? One, one, Is that actually... I went 1-2-2. Two, two. It felt okay. That's fine. That's fine? Yeah, but it gives you damage. Backstab damage. That's nice. The, uh... Carry Ricky. Hmm? He's back. Health region. I was gonna say that his roaming became better because he actually has HP regen. Oh, it does help. Helps a lot. But, I mean, he's... I don't know. I, I personally like this hero a lot. I know a lot of people are super annoyed by him because he's very hard to play against once he gets a couple items, but yeah. I, I like his concept, personally. I think it's very cool. He's got some uh, really <coughs> cool talents, too. Like the, he has a Blink Strike cast range talent. Dude, that's... Okay. It's great. I want to make a list of the best talents in the game because that is in the top 10. Yeah. It has to be. Yep. Like You look at it and you're like, oh, 0.2 backstab multiple. That sounds really fucking good, but yeah. then you look 900 Blink... It's like global. <laughs> it's insane. And this is the one... Okay, so since we're already talking about this, you can give me some advice. Okay. Uh, I'm very greedy, so I, I don't ever go for health regen. Okay. That's I go cool. for 8 agility every time. Well, now you don't need to, right? He's got 3 health regen. Exactly. Exactly. 15. I'm pretty sure the correct play is to go for the smoke screen. Okay. I always go for critical strike. I do too. Blink strike, I go 100% of the time. I've never gone backstab. 25, though. This one really... Okay, I'm going to explain my thought process here. I used to go cloak and dagger doesn't reveal. Okay. 
because I mean it it just puts pressure on the enemy team to always have vision no matter what. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at the 400 tricks of trade AoE, especially since they changed his ult to not hit everybody. It sounds like a nerf. Ult. It sounds like a nerf. But late game, people have these items, four staves, everything to get out of my ult. And it just feels like it's actually too small of an AoE. Yeah. That you kind of have to go for this. I don't think there's a choice. No, I agree. When you blink strike on someone from 1500 range and you just sit there and drop your ultimate, they're dead. Yeah. There's no getting out of that. All right. This hero is super cool. You know... He does so many things with items too. Like you blink strike in from fifteen hundred range, so even if they have a gem, you're outside of their vision range to mm -hmm. begin with. You drop the ultimate and then you blink out afterwards. That's true. Is the range for is it eight hundred gem? Nine hundred. Oh, it's the same range. Oh well, well it's nine hundred plus his blink strike range yeah, to begin with. It's like five hundred, so it's like fourteen. Seven hundred. Jesus. Sixteen hundred. This guy's a monster. It's insane. You got some sweet cosmetics for him too. Thanks. I didn't get the gold one though. I really like the... Yeah, I was looking at that the entire time. That was like cool. Cuddly guy. Uh, Saiyan King, Cossack Finale reduced, slow, reduced by 9% at level 1. Now it scales up to 30%, which is what it used to be. Okay. Well, whatever. Yep. Shadow Fiend talent, level 20 talent changed from 20% evasion to 2 damage per soul, which means that his level 25 talent is no longer there. The 3 damage per soul becomes minus 5 presence aura. This is really interesting, because look at the other level 20 talent. It's the at Shadow Race damage. Service. 150 shadow race damage, and people usually take the spell amplification anyways. Hmm. You know, even if they were going to go for the damage talent at 25 on shadow fiend, most people would pretty right. much always go for the shadow race damage. Like, it did that much damage. So, so now what do you take? I, I really don't know. Maybe now you have to fully commit. You know, if I want to go for shadow race damage, I'm going to get cooldown reduction and just be the wizard shadow fiend. Magic versus physical. Yeah, but what is presence of the dark? Or it's like set, six armor? Six plus five, negative 11 armor to towers too. Okay. Like I know this 40% cooldown reduction is nice. I actually think you take the presence though. If you get that with the 15 building damage too, or the effects buildings, yeah. That's oh, you, I'm sorry. You have to get that too. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. See, that's where it gets a little weird, right? Cause yeah. Movement speed, fantastic as well. I 30 guess. move speed. I don't know. Minus 11 armor to build. So that's AC value. gives minus five, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Deso minus seven, and you have to hit it. Imagine if you have both of those and this. Right. Like those towers, you become tiny, basically. Yeah. That's. No, it, it sounds really cool. That's pretty cool. Silencer, last word, cooldown reduced by two. Okay. And arcane curse damage increased by two. <laughs> Two's the magic number. Silencer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Slardar, Bash of the Deep, damage increased by 20 at all levels. Okay. All cool. right. I like this hero. I think he, ever since they changed sprint to not do damage to yourself, yeah. much better. Agreed. Quality of life changes for the win. Uh, Slark. Slark, Pounce, damage reduced by 10 at level one and actually scales up that way so 40 less damage okay. at level four this here is somewhat popular now yeah right? yeah, yeah very situationally good right mm. comes out last pick destroys the game or he's useless right right i hate him i yeah it's one of those heroes that in pubs like of course i can't say anything about pro games but in pubs it's just fucking miserable to play against this hero no, i don't think anyone likes playing against slark yeah Sniper night vision increased. You were talking about this. 1,100 to 1,400 night vision. I'm pretty sure that's the largest in the game. Right? Well, besides like Night Stalker. Well, Night Stalker during night yeah. is somewhere around there. It's not like with Ags, it's 1,800, right? But 1,400 by default. 1,800 is the normal vision range for daytime. Yeah. But during nighttime, what do you have? Like Slark, uh, Sniper, obviously. Like him when he's ulted. Necro 3. Okay. Necro 3. Necros have night vision? That's fucking random. <laughs> Why? Hey, actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's only Lycan. I'm not sure if Necro 3 does or not. Well, let's look. Something does. You're going to have to tell me where Necro is. I don't buy it. Under four staff. Right side. You need to tell me where four staff <laughs> Third call. Yeah, Thank you. Can. Thank you. More like what it says there. Let's... Is it going to say night vision? No. You have to find the the units themselves okay we're gonna look this up guys because i know a lot of you are really really wondering I just want to know about all the mechanics okay which which okay before you say which which guy is it oh, is it the one that burns mana or the one that purges 
but I don't know. Okay, let's see. Here's the melee. Uh, vision range. Okay, it does not have night vision. 800. 800. What about this guy? 800 as well. Okay. Okay, so it's just light in the melee. All right. All right. Excellent. Now that we have that established, Spirit Breaker HP regen increased by 0.5. Oh. Excellent, excellent. These roaming heroes getting a little bit of love as far as HP regen goes. Uh, Sven, level 20 talent increased from minus 5 second storm hammer cooldown to minus 6. And the 25 talent, 0.75 second storm hammer stun duration to 1.25. Okay. All right, so let, let's investigate this. Level 20, you have lifesteal or minus 6 second storm hammer. What is storm hammer cooldown in general? Uh, it is 13. Okay. So it becomes seven or twenty five percent life steal where you will have life steal already on this hero. Yeah, with mask of madness. Right. That's forty percent with mom. Yeah. And when you hit for five I don't know. That's tough. And you can't cast Stormhammer while you're masked. That's true. That is a good point, because it's you pretty much have to buy mask on Sven, right? I think so. That means you're getting one storm hammer off and then that's the same. mask of madness. How long does mask last? Like ten seconds? All right, let's, look. <laughs> <laughs> let's look it up, boys. Oh, you can actually type. How awesome is that? That's very cool. Uh, eight, seconds. eight seconds. Okay. So this actually could make a difference. Oh, yeah. It's actually almost the same time. Wow. Do you Seven think you that? Yes. All right, what about the 25 talent? 1.25 seconds stun. Strength. I know, 40 strength. God. It's not just HP. It's damage. Mm -hmm. His ult synergizes directly with it. What am I doing? Sven. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what I did this. I wanted to see the... So stun is 2, mm -hmm. and it becomes 3.25. And it's AoE, obviously. Right, right. You still take the... Yeah, I feel like you still have to take the, the strength. What are your thoughts on Stormhammer dispels enemies? Have you ever seen that? When is this... I don't know. I'm... Tr I, I Whenever I see these dispel counts, like, like there's battle trance dispels, there's refraction dispels, I'm like, what? When I when I think of dispelling, you know what the first hero that comes to mind is? Is Sven's Warcry, but he can't dispel himself. So I have to think of another hero, and I never can think of another fucking hero. I, I mean, guess, living uh, armor. Yeah, your surge. Great. Shit, that, that's it. <laughs> Blood lie. <laughs> You know what I mean? It doesn't sound great. Yeah, it's it's very situational. I mean, if you look at the enemy team, you're like, oh, I can actually dispel a lot of things. You'll take it. Otherwise, you just take right, the 30 right. moves. Right? But it's cool that it has like a, a place. You know, it's not something you take every game. <clears throat> yeah. I, I think the more interesting dispels are the ones that work on yourself. Like uh, mm. Refraction or Battle Trance. That's, that's pretty cool. Tiny Tree Grab building bonus damage increased by 60 at level 4. That's a lot. Hero has a lot of issues right now. It got nerfed to the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, tree throw splash damage increased by 30%. So it becomes a ridiculous, I'm not that he wasn't bad at pushing before, but more so now. Yeah. But he still has the same major issues, right? His laning was too good, and they nerfed his laning into the ground. So yeah. until that's fixed, this hero's not going to see much play. Or Agreed. Many. Agreed. Tree, living armor regen increased by three at level four. Okay. Scales a little bit better now. Ice shards for tusk cooldown increased by two at all levels. Sizable. This actually. got nerfed last patch too, right? Yeah, it did. Look at the uh, look at the progression here. Yep. Cooldown from nineteen. Getting the darts here treatment. Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Duration reduced. Cooldown increased two patches <laughs> in a row. Well, not in a row, but now, a lot of it is for the early level. Yep, that's true. Um. It, if you level it up all the way, it's almost identical to what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Or somewhat close. Undying Soul Rip mana cost in, uh, reduced by 5 at level 4, but pretty drastically 20 at level 1. Is this my phone? It is your phone. What is this? What is J-A-L? I have no idea. Okay, we're going to ignore that call. Another spam call. Thanks. Uh, Ursa, level 15 talent, changed from minus 1 second Earth Shock cooldown to 25. pretty cool, actually. I, I don't remember his talents at all, so let's go I through these. Know. 25 second Fury Swipes reset time plus 25 seconds. Holy shit. Yeah. Long That's time. new, right? I don't I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Well, it was at 20 before. Then oh, okay. So level 20 changed from the, that exact one yep. to 12 Fury Swipe damage mm -hmm. per stack. 
And the 25 talent changed from 14 Fury Swipe damage to Enrage gains 80% status resistance. Ooh, we have a good. third status resistance. That sounds game. really cool. Excellent. Persistent, though. Yes, they are very persistent. All right, so what do we think of his talents, then? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I, I've played this hero grand total of maybe <laughs> zero times in the last yeah. year and a half. Um, I mean, 25 second Fury res uh, swipes reset time. It sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? What is it default? It's 20 mm -hmm. seconds. 10 seconds on Roche. Wait, does that add to Roche is the question. I would imagine so. Doesn't matter, uh, though. Right, exactly. Um, 16 agility. It's not bad. Yeah. But when you think Ursa, you're not really, you know thinking to yourself wow can't wait to stack up the agility true but uh it's nice that they move the uh the damage from the fury swipes from 25 to 20 right 12 it might not sound like a lot but it stacks up very quickly yeah makes a big difference and enrage gains 80 percent status resistance i want to see that that sounds so cool you lasso uh, an ursa you know be stunned for 0. 0.8 oh, seconds or let's try it you want lasso what's the longest grip that's yes. the longest one? Grip's pretty long. Okay. What? Prepare for oh, battle. Bane. Bane Elemental? Maybe. Try a Dota 1 name. Which is? A T R O P O S. Atropos. At what is it? Atropos? Atropos. Like that? No, 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 no H. Atropos? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right, give me another here. <laughs> Naga. Holy shit! Oh no, it's getting worse. It's the angle. All right, we're doing ensnare. Yeah. It doesn't change sleep, so. Right. Okay, so let's do before and after, huh? Oh my goodness. I mean, this is actually a, a legit thing, too, yeah, right? Like, this is a normal this is encounter for Ursa. Five seconds seems like forever. Uh, okay, we're going up here. So. You have to do it before, because it gets. Yeah. Ha! Oh, that's nice. That's gotta feel good. And of course, you, you probably have an Aghanim Scepter if you're having a lot of issues anyway, so right. you can cast it during your. I mean. That sounds pretty nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. The AOE Earthshock, I think, is underrated. I've never seen it before. I've never seen it, though. Exactly. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Because what is the cooldown? Like two... Okay, I was going to say two seconds. I don't, well, you were close. Two second cooldown. Are you serious? Five. Oh, sounds cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, magic Missile for Venge. Cooldown reduced to the old level four, which is 10 seconds. Very nice. Yes, very nice. Indeed. And Wave of Terror Mana Recost reduced to, again, level four, which is 40. It's good. It's very good. This hero is not played at all. And it probably still won't be played at all, but it's a step in the right direction. Maybe one or two more of these things. I mean, 15 mana right. reduction at level one? That's, That's nice. nice. That's nice. That's like a the centaur treatment, except it's not a shit-ass skill. <laughs> Weaver Shikuchi damage increased by 5 at level 1 and 20 at level 4. Okay. So that plus his talent. I mean, do, do people actually get his talent? What is it? It's 75 Shikuchi or 12 strength. I think well, sometimes. <coughs> like he has. <coughs> not that I'm a pro, but I go to 12 strength personally. Right. There's nothing wrong with some more Because he has either. some HP issues, but. He does. I mean, Shikuchi damage on top of this now, that's pretty legitimate. Yeah, it helps. Uh, Wyvern Splinter Blast, slow increased by 5%, and the mana cost reduced. 30 less mana. By 30. That's at level 1. Same at level good. 4, though. Will we see this hero because of these changes? You'll see this hero against Lycan. That's about it. Oh, because the units all attack. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Wraith King, Mortal Strike, no longer has a chance to kill creeps. Now gain skeleton charges for every two enemies, enemy units you kill. Mortal Strike skeleton count rescaled from 4567 to 2468. Mortal Strike okay. Skeleton's Bounty reduced drastically from 1515 as far as XP gold to 5-5. Five, five. And the mana cost reduced from 75 to 30, 45, 60, 75. Personally, I like these changes. I think it's good. Because uh, before, it would take forever to stack up the skeletons, right? Yes. It felt like a chore to yes. max out your skeletons. Now, you'll have them just from your farm. You'll farm out the lane. 
and then you'll clear the jungle super fast. Yes. And that's always been this hero's problem in the past. Like, besides his fighting capabilities, right? Farm speed was not good on this hero. And now this change helps with that a lot. But this change makes him worse for jungling, right? Early. Early jungling, of yeah. course. Not that he was, like, sweeping the nation with his jungling <laughs> abilities, but he could do it. Yeah. But, yeah, you're right. The more consistent... I, like, I always... Late game, I had, like, one skeleton always exactly. just... You like, could never really use this ability. Now, the one thing I want added is if you kill a hero, I want a big skeleton to spawn automatically. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just a big, fat... Ske like, it's almost like another Wraith King. It's Skeleton King reincarnate. I mean, come on. Guys, I'm giving you free stuff here. This is gold. This is gold. Last but not least, Zeus, base damage increased by 5, strength gain reduced by 0.3. Okay. Arc lightning damage rescaled to be 15 less at level 1, but the same at level 4. Lightning bolt cast range increased by 150 at level 4. Wow. That's a big deal. And the damage for lightning bolt increased by 25 at level 1, but the same at level 4. Can you uh, move over Zeus to look at his uh, past changes as well? Oh, how do you do that? Well, can you move over the arc? Is that how you do it? Yeah, it's for each ability. Oh, okay. Well, Zeus also got five base damage like a patch or two ago. So now he has ten more oh. base damage than he previously Wow, we, but the worst cast animation in the game. Oh, the worst attack animation in yeah. the game. We were talking but about that. When you have a uh, plus ten damage with a null talisman, you can probably last hit against all these mid heroes now. Mm. That's very cool. And even as support. Like, look at Lightning Bolt. Now you don't have to kill yourself walking in range to use this ability. You can click the ground, you know, and then it'll affect the closest unit to within 325 range. That's huge for cast range. So 150 increase on top of maybe an Aether Lens that you get at some point and his talent, which is level 25, 275 cast range. It's hard to pass with the heart, though. Yeah, I agree. But at the same time, if you, what if you don't want an Aether Lens? Do you have to have one? No, maybe you don't have to have really? it anymore. Because Ark already had a really long cast range, right? It true. was always the bolt that you That's needed true, the extra actually, yeah. cast range on. Maybe now people will go Veil mm. instead. Or maybe people still won't. But it also range. increases like Yule's, Blink. That's true. Um, yeah. I don't know. All those clickable items. Now, the real issue with, I have is level 20, you always get one of them. Yeah. The other one is ignored. Maybe make that one good. So you actually have a make a choice. I agree with that. Same with 15. I feel like... This, I feel like that's garbage, right? You always take move speed. Level 10, you can argue one or the other, I think, depending on the game. Yes. Level 10, you actually have to sit there and make a choice. I personally think level 10 and 25, you make a choice. 25, obviously, you favor Arc Lightning more, but it's not like the other one's bad. Right, right. 275 cast range is a lot, especially for items like Yules or Hex. I think Zeus is good. Like, I really too. good now. All right. He already had a super strong late game with Nimbus. No hero deals well with it at all. All right, excellent. Any yeah, cool. any change that you personally like a lot? Um, that I like a lot. All these are so minor. Yeah, they I are. feel like there's nothing that's like super game breaking. You said Sentry Wars at the very beginning, and now after looking at all these changes, I feel like that is the most impactful change. Yeah, I kind of agree with Which myself on this one. You know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see if we'll see any of these heroes play just because of the health regen changes. Right, Ricky got his health regen from 1.5 to 3. Mm -hmm. Now you have these agility heroes at 1.75. Helps a lot, I guess. Troll, you know, he's already pretty decent. TA, you see her every now and then. Dro, you don't see her Andro. Clinks, same thing. Andro. Hardcore Nance Mishi, no. Clinks is, I think, for me, bottom five heroes in the game. Would you agree with that? It's hard to disagree. It, I, I, I'm trying bad. to think of things worse, you know, that I'd want to list it, there. And that's the thing. Like, he's he's not, like, even in his best situation, he's not that good. That's when you know a hero is bad. Like, he's he's very one-dimensional, yes. right? Single target. It's the same way you play every single game. There's no iteration of uh, skill, like, uh, item build or anything like it that. It reminds me of the Sven era, when you knew exactly what he's going to do. He's going to max cleave. He's going to hit True. the jungle camps with Mask of Madness, come out with Blink Dagger. But Echo the difference is Sven was effective. Yes. He Clinks. You just get dust. And you think that hurts these Invis heroes so badly? The, the dust slow? You know, this it's is their good. escape mechanic. It's good. Right? It is good. Well, Clink's escape mechanic now is uh, strafe. Oh. Actually, no, it's not. We tested that. It's complete <laughs> fucking garbage. Anyway, thanks for watching the patch analysis for 7.16. Follow this guy. 
on the Twitter below. And his, tw I'm telling you, I'm not just bullshitting. His, his stream is very enjoyable. If you guys like relaxed, non-ragey environment, this is the man to go to. I will put you to sleep and talk to you. He does play against Io a lot, though, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you're going to hate the hero after watching his games. So thanks for watching. Any last words, Braximus? No, I'm just curious to see uh, more future changes. Like A lot of these updates are baby changes, right? They could potentially shape a hero into something, into some sort of monster before TI, like uh, Crystal Maiden. Watch out for that mana regen. Dark Willow. It, yeah, could get out of control. I think, to, I think we're going to see more Dazzle, though. Yeah, for we sure. definitely have to keep tabs on heroes that get these small little micro buffs, right? Because yeah. it adds up. It's like having a micro penis. Everybody wants a little bit of it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, Sunspin and Brax signing out.